Hi everyone and welcome to a brand new video. So today we're actually going to be um, tackling some new kind of prompt that I've been recently working on, which is creating a PDF from HTML. I found it pretty hard and hopefully this tutorial will make it much easier for you. So to get started, I just click exclamation mark and enter to create a basic HTML file, you can name it whatever you want. So maybe um, creating PDF from HTML. And I'm just going to do some, let's, I don't know, um, what to print. And then I'm just going to create hi printing this. This should show up in my PDF. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to link this sheet ref style.css. And here I'm just going to say what to print. Oh, with a hashtag. And feel free to skip forward to the actual thing, but I'm just going to create just some basic. Uh, CSS over here and if you go back to our window you can kind of see how um, you are getting this text now so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to create a link here and it's just going to be her ref and that's it and I'll be click to download and just so that we can um, make sure that it's working, I'm just going to also have this have a background color. Let's make it like a nice thing so we can actually, you know, read it. And let's refresh. So perfect. And obviously, this doesn't do anything yet. But what we're going to want to do is we're going to create a script tag underneath or you can create a script.js. And I'm just going to create an async function generate PDF. And inside the, uh, all, all we need to do now here is, is JavaScript colon generate PDF. So what this will do is that when you click this button, it will run this JavaScript function. And here I'm just going to create an ID of download button so dot get element by ID just to tell the users download button dot inner HTML is equal to current currently downloading please wait and then we're gonna write our downloading code here and then I'm and then we'll reset it back to click to download. Click to download. So if I refresh this page, you can kind of see um, it doesn't do anything because like it's really, really fast, but we can do a console dot. Oh, we can, if we comment this out just to see whether it's working, you can see here that it goes inside the function. So, Ash, oh, the important thing that we actually want to do is how to download. So in order to do this, you need to first get the element you want to download. So I'm just going to say downloading. End of downloading. So uh, do var what to down, download. Uh, I guess I'm um, just to make it easier downloading is equal to document dot get element by ID what to print. And then you're actually going to want to put these two script files. At, uh, I'll put them in the comment, but you want to put these two script files and it will it is the script for something called json.pdf. So in order to do our HTML, what we're going to want and assuming that you want to also include your um, CSS. So we have our HTML plus CSS 
And what we need to do is we need to convert it into a PNG. And the reason is because otherwise, not all the CSS will be saved. So in or, uh, so if you want your CSS, which you probably do, uh, you need to convert it to a PNG first. And then um, you can add, uh, and then once with the PNG, you can add it to the PDF, and then you can download the PDF. So that's the process that we're going to be using. So in order to convert the HTML plus CSS to a PNG, we're going to use something called HTML2 Canvas. You don't need to import anything for that. Then the PNG to PDF, we're going to use something called JSON PDF, which is these two script files over here. And then to download, um, it's, it's um, one of the methods in JSON.PDF. So something um, I just wanted to bring up is that you are allowed to scale the size of your image on the JSON.PDF. But here's the thing. The resolution will not be perfect, and the more um, you maintain the original ratio of the HTML, um, the better the resolution will be. I found that extremely hard um, to learn because I tried like so many different ways, and then in the end, I scaled it better, um, and it turned out much better. So that's just something to note. The next step you're going to want to do. I'm just going to create a json.pdf. So you do var doc.new json pdf. And then this actually takes in a few parameters. So the first parameter you can put in is whether you want a portrait or landscape. So for our purposes, just for now, I'm just going to try landscape. Then you can set the dimension. So a lot of people will do PT. So let's do that because that's pixels. You can also do MM if you want it. And then the last parameter, remember these are optional, but these are if you want, is doing a uh, what type of PDF you want. So you can do like A4, you can do A3, but I'm actually okay with just this parameter. So I'm going to leave it here. The next step is actually going into the HTML to Canvas now that we've created the document that we're going to be putting this image on. So we're going to do await HTML to Canvas. The first parameter is what element we're downloading. So that's downloading right over here. The next thing you want to do is put some parameters. So if you have, let's say, an image, uh, let's grab an image from the internet. So I grabbed an image and this is just for an example. Perfect and if we refresh you'll see that image come up and so if you have an image like this or any other type of image you actually want to put some parameters. So you want allow tint it's spelled like a loud taint, but I call it loud tint. And you want to set it to true. And you also want to use coarse. And put, by putting these two parameters, you'll allow images inside your HTML to be put on your canvas. Otherwise, it won't work. And also, uh, this is optional, but you can set the width of how much your HTML to canvas reads. And this is very essential if you um, I want to read the entire div. So if I set this width, so let's say 500 px, oh, style width of 500 px, then you're going to want to make sure that it's probably a little bit bigger here. And um, this is very, very crucial because otherwise it will cut off some of your PDF. And then after that, you're just going to do a dot then. You take in a canvas because as you can kind of tell from the name, this converts HTML to canvas and you can convert a canvas to PNG. So now, so now we taken in a canvas, which we can uh, convert to a PNG with just a function. So 
And now our next step is to add it to the PDF. So what we want to do is we want to do doc add image of canvas to data URL that will convert this to a PNG. And you can just put um, any name here. It won't really matter because you're putting on the PDF anyways. Um, and then the next parameter is what type of image. So it's a PNG. The next parameters are optional, but I still recommend them. The first one is the X coordinate. So I want it to be five um, points away from the edge of the paper. Um, and the next one is how much you want it from the top of the paper. So I also want it five P uh, PT away from the top. So that's not exactly on the edge. And then the next two are optional parameters but you can also declare the width and height. So let's say I want the width to be 500 and I also want the width to be 500. And then the last but not least, at, uh, right here, you just want to do doc.save document.pdf. And this is going to be the name of the PDF. If you want this code to work, you're going to want to put it on some sort of host like Nullify. That's a free um, host for static websites um, because allow taint and use course doesn't work with just a, f a file name. So just for temporarily, I'm just going to comment this out. But if you do have that available for you, you should uh, just remember to upload your code to that host um, before testing your code. So now if I refresh and I click to download, you can see that this document it came up. So I'm just gonna let it wait to be com fully completed. And then we can open file. And you can see, this is kind of what I was talking about. You can, uh, you got your CSS, you got everything you wanted, but it's kind of, the resolution is kind of really weak. So um, that's why you want to maintain the similar, uh, the original ratio to as much as possible. So if we change the height to 200, we can refresh, retry, and you can see it turns out much, much better. You can also see that um, sometimes there's like a little gray line on the side, and that's just because the width in this parameter is a bit too much. So you can change it to let's say 30 if you want. But that is how you can take your HTML and convert it to a PDF using uh, in between HTML to Canvas. I hope this was helpful and see you in the next video. Bye.